I had to tell a lot of people, man, that you got to repent and keep it man. Your daddy was a so-called, what they call, black man. Yeah. Hey. My granddaddy, I'm just going to dance now. Yeah, that's right. So, guess what that makes you? If you keep going on your daddy's side further and further back, you're going to come to somebody getting off the stage just with the chains on. So, so what that makes you? That makes you the same people that came off the stage. Just the same people. You, you know who you are through the, the lineage of your father, brother, according to no, that's right. That's how you know who you are. Mm-hmm. And the reason why our people are going through all the atrocities, through all our history over here, mm-hmm. is because we broke the family. But that's what got us on the plane. Right. That's what got us continually on the bottom of the side of the plane. So so breaking up the right. man with the gun. Right, I got so, it. So, 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 so how would that end up on the plane? So? Because we were, you know, it, it's prophesied. We came out of Egypt with Moses. Okay. Moses told us. He told us that in the book of Deuteronomy. He told us that if we did not keep the most high commandment, if we did not keep the commandment of God, we would end up getting way more curses than blessings. He spelled that out for us in the book of Deuteronomy. You got that book of Deuteronomy? Got it. Book of Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 4 and 8, verse 6 and 8. And the Lord shall bring them to Egypt again with ships. This is what Moses told the Israelites as he was leading by the he led us out of Egypt. He let us know. Hey, you're gonna to have to pick. You're gonna to have to pick uh, life and good, or death and evil. He gave us all these blessings that we would get if we be obedient. He gave us a he gave us a living blessing, bro. Right? And he gave us a listen of curses. And one of the curses was, what did you say, bro? Exactly. Oh, are you saying exactly? Yeah. Okay, yeah, he gave us a list of blessings that we would get if we be obedient, brother. And then he gave us a way more curses that a befall us if we did not. We agreed that we would out there in the forest, out there in the woods. We agreed with you, commander. He said, now look, we agree with you, those commanders. Hey, he let us know. But he didn't keep the command. We would have, we would be scattered throughout all the earth. And we would be, we would have no assurance of life. We would have no rest. We would only be, we would only be oppressed. We would go through more oppression and, and, and curses after curses. And one of the things that happened to us was we would go back into slavery again. He would just leave us out of slavery. We had been in Egypt about four years, but he would tell us. Don't keep these commands. They're going back in slavery on slave ship. What are you selling here? He warned us. If you don't be obedient, I can promise you, we'll keep these commands. If you curse them, they go back into slavery on slave ship. Moses warned us. And that's the reason why when I say it, you keep going back to your dad's lineage, you're going to come to a man come out of slave ship. You are who your father is. So, 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 so how do we go about getting out of it? You got to get there. Now you want to you want to get down to the. I just ask you. Want, you want to get there? I just ask you. And that's a good thing that you want to know these things. Because not everybody want to. They don't care about this. The understanding. Well, I just ask you. How, how, how do we get out of it? Since we ain't that in that situation, how do we get out of it? Because there's a solution. Is there anything right. in the scripture? Yes. Yeah, there's a there's a solution. We're we'll looking at second Chronicles twelve. Like your name and address. Yeah, that'd be seven fourteen. Seven fourteen. If my people, so you know about that. Come on, I'm, I'm that solution. Which I call by my name. Well, I'm gonna seven, pray, seven, seek my seven, prayer. Seven, Turn from that we seven, pray. Seven, uh, chapter seven, seven, verse fourteen. 14. Uh-huh. If my people, which are called by my name, and that's us. That's us. So we the Israelite. That's right. We, our name was changed. Right. Well, Jacob's name was changed. That's, that's right. right. That's right. And we are uh, the descendants of him. The twelve tribes of Israel. The twelve tribes of Jacob. So we call by his name. Joshua. You know he Prince Paul. Now, I yes, feel a little more at home. So if my people would have called by my name, meaning the Israelites, that's meaning right. us, that's right. would do what, brother? Shall humble themselves. And that's what we have to do. We got to start off with realizing we've been in sin. Our fathers have sinned. We've that's been right. in sin. That's right. We got to do this. We got to understand that we ain't, we not, we not, we not good. Not people say, well, I'm good. We not. We not good. We not good. Hey, bro. Hey, come get this word, bro. Come on over here, bro. Hey, come get a card, bro.
Let's show some reverence to him. Take your hand off. Yes, Take your shoes off. You hold the ground. Hold the ground. We got the reverence. But you said the key thing, brother. I'm not talking. The first thing I do is just talk about my hand. Because of the brother, we, we shouldn't get offended you know when we see that. No, we're not offended. We deal with that more. We, we deal with that more than we deal with yes. brother yes. like you that actually want to stop. Yes. That's an all day, everyday thing. Oh. Yeah. But it's, for, for you to stand here and talk to us, brother, that's what we're going to see enough of. We used to that. We just excited because you over here. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, hey, for you, I got a preacher. Exodus 20 and 10. He said, But the seventh day is the seventh of the Lord, thy God. In it, thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within it, thy gate. That means you don't go buy, sell, and sell on the Saturday. It's a holy day. It's, it's spoken of throughout the Bible 134 times. Man. That means from the top to the end. He talk about the Sabbath. You don't come to do that. And we break that. And the and, 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 and my got us breaking that every Sabbath. Every Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? They call it Sabbath. But the Most High in the Bible ain't never named Nails Day. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right. He never gave a name. Right. But the number. That's right, right, bro. That's right. Yeah. 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 Ye
That's right. I appreciate it. Right, we brother, gotta keep though. those days, bro. We gotta do the best we can to keep the most high commandments as best right. we can, bro. We gotta strive to do that. And one of the ways that you can do better to keep it is to ask questions, take notes, talk to us as often as you as you possibly can, bro. Talk to us as often as you can, bro. I will every right. time I see you. And, and you can get in touch with us. You ain't gotta wait. You, you, yeah. you ain't gotta. You ain't gotta wait. You see, you'll never know. We know. Hey, we wasn't even. We didn't know we were coming here today. So you might not have seen us today. Exactly. Cause I, I go and get my fans here all the time. Right? So brother, don't wait till you see us again. Cause don't tell me how long that'll be, brother. Get in touch with us, man. Yeah. You got the information right there. The contact information. Okay. Reach out to us, brother. That's what we out here for. I do that. All oh, praise it's you. Time, it's time to fill with minds like yours, bro. I do that. Yes, sir. I hey, hold on a second before you go. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 33 and verse 6. Bring it out. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person the from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Mm. So that's, that's going to two, that uh, if, if we don't come out here and teach our people and warn them of the destruction that's going to come, the blood will be on our hands, right? That's right. We don't study for ourselves and have the knowledge and wisdom that we have to just keep it to ourselves. Right. That's We're right. coming out here to warn our people that's and tell right. our people they got to repent and keep the commandments. That's right. As Israelites, according to the Bible, we are God's chosen people. That's right. And it's time for us to wake up in the last days and stop breaking the most high commandment. That's right. We're buying on the Sabbath. We're eating all manner of defiled food That's and right. abomination of the earth. We have on the wrong garments, right? We have to we have to put our beautiful garments back on, man. And come back into the words of life. <laughs>